Hello everyone, thank you very much for joining me again. Thank you very much for the support on the first video. I would say thank you for the support on the second video, but that hasn't uploaded yet. So I'm gonna have to shoot over to mum and dad's now, which is what we're about to do. Go upload that, because their internet's a little bit better than mine. So we are going to then go train chest and back with Nick again at Derrimits. And then once I finish there, I'm then going to go over to my best friend's house and stay there for New Year's. Goodbye. This is my cousin Tom and his wife Megan. I live with them. Hey. Have a good New Year's, guys. Yeah. Enjoy your shenanigans. And as per usual, it is still hot as anything outside. As we all know, I hate getting in the car in the heat, but your boy was one step ahead today and decided to put down the windows. What? Game changer. Back at mum and dad's now trying to upload the video because my second one didn't want to upload last night because we've got really poor internet. Last night it said it was going to take almost three hours to upload. I come here, 18 minutes. I should just move back home. Time for you guys to meet Ollie. So Ollie is my border collie. He's five years old. I've had him since he was a pup. Hey, hey, hello, good wolf, wow. So it's actually Ollie's birthday on the 6th of January, and yes, we do celebrate my dog's birthday. So he's not a big dog person, so he doesn't have any doggy friends or anything, so it's pretty much just us and whatever toy he brings us at the time, so. So he doesn't do many tricks. Ollie, come here, sit. Close enough. So, spoke to Nick just a couple of minutes ago, and we are going to meet down at Jep's very shortly after I've had something to eat, because I haven't eaten all morning. Pre-workout snack, because I didn't bring anything other than my Sour Patch Kids, will be whatever mum and dad have floating around in their cereal cupboard, which looks like a lot of gluten-free crap. Alright, so... We'll get in the car, we'll play some tunes. I was feeling a little bit of Lincoln Park today. Why? It doesn't even matter how hard you try. You guys there, get ready for a big chest and back session. <laughs> you kidding yourself if you think I'm taking stairs after a leg day. Let's get in the elevator. It's free. Alright guys, so first important exercise we've got is the dumbbell bench press. We are starting up with 55, so we're shooting for six to six to eight reps though. We're then going to work up to the 60 kilo bench because one, I didn't get mine on film last time I'm done, and Nick's never done before, so we'll post that later on. We started off with a quick warm-up of just some rotator cuffs. I've got really tight shoulders, so I always need a warm-up before a bench session. And we also need some pull-ups as well. So I normally do those two with the chest and back combo, and then yeah, we go from there. So let's see how we go. Six to eight. How was it mate? Was it heavy? Heavy real quick. Uh. Alright, so up next we have Nick attempting to do the 60 kilo dumbbells for one rep. He's never done them, but he can bench 150 kilos, so we'll see how he goes. <laughs> Second working set that we've got. We've got this incline machine doing 50 kilos each side. We're shooting for 12 to 15 reps as well as 12 to 15 reps on the lat pull down. So make sure when you're pulling that you're keeping your elbows behind your back, not in front of your back, and you're keeping that nice contraction at the bottom, trying to reach sort of that nipple line sort of thing. So let's see how we go. How was the set, mate? It sucks. 
Yeah? Root man. <laughs> you, you don't like that? You don't like that superset? <laughs> Alright, so last set on the incline, light pull down. Still hitting those 10 to 12 reps. We're now doing a drop set. Gonna drop it down, two plate sheet sides. And then, gonna do a double single drop set. We'll go, we'll go double drop set. So two plates, and two plates again. Same thing on the light pull down. Two plates, and two plates. This thing hot, pump covers are coming off. So, oh, it's hot in here. It is. Again, it is like, yeah, top standard of that 32 degrees. Oh, no. Oh. Good drop set, mate. I can see some real failure in your eyes, though. Uh, I can see failure. I failed my mum and dad. Let's see this. Let's go. Yeah, that's hot. Last set of the next exercise, which is this weight loaded row, 12 15 reps, super setting with, with this wide chest press by hammer string. 15, 12 to 15 reps each side, squeezing at the bottom all the way through the lower peg region. How was it, mate? Nice. It's horrible. It's good though. Like, real good, like, you can grab. Oh, yeah. Alright, up next we've got this massive set of supersets. So we're supersetting this high cable chest fly. Supersetting with this close grip chest press, squeezing the contraction as you're about to see Nick to do. Squeezing through the middle of the chest. Whilst he's doing that, I'm supposed to be on the other side doing close grip pull downs mixed with lat pullovers. Once you complete this set, you are absolutely wrecked. This is disgusting. And the fact that it is sweating. I've probably had about three shakers full of water today. And I'm still sweating it out. I'm still thirsty. So, it's a good workout though. Nice big pump. Look at the big boy go. for the day is these rack pulls. Normally uh, Nick and myself do 10 reps, 10 sets with a minute break in between and normally about 100 kilos. But today we've decided to do five reps, five sets at 200 kilos, being the rest in between is each other. So we're probably gonna be fairly fatigued after this. I don't know about you, I don't really rack pull 200 that often what about you. Never, so. Now nah, it's a good workout so far though. We've now got the fans actually on this side of the gym. On the other side it's stinking on, so thank God that we're over this side now. That's it for the back workout today. The big boy wanted to come into the posing room and check out the lads. So, so are we gonna say? Huh? Yeah. No, 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 no. Why not? No, no, no. 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 It's, a, it's undercover. It's a secret. It's a no, you gotta secret. let the people see. Come on, give us, give us one. Come on, come on, give us one. Come on. No. Come on. No. Come on. No, the come on. There you go. There you go. All right, so I'm now heading home. Gonna go back to my parents' place to upload the video that didn't upload yesterday. Gonna go see Ollie, get my stuff, and then I'm gonna shoot off to Beck's place which is another 40 minutes from here. Nick, what are you doing for New Year's? Uh, I'm gonna eat my body weight in food and hang by Dana's pool and just relax. I think everyone's hanging by the pool today because I just looked and it's 34 degrees outside. So if you've got a pool, stay cool. If you don't, sucks for you. All right, so heading to the car, down the stairs. Trick you again, I'm going downstairs. Elevator. <laughs> Hot. Uh, everything you touch in here is like molten lava. Get those windows down. What the hell? Oh. Bye, driver. Bye, driver. Bye, driver. Bye. Bye. So it needs to be addressed. Song of the year. I don't know about you guys, but the song that I've been playing on the day, like I literally listen to it every day. 
Sicko Mo by Travis Scott. I don't know why, I just, there's something about the beat that is just, it's just perfect. I don't know why, I just love the first beat at the start of the song, I love Travis's part, and then Drake's part comes on it, and then it's like everybody gets lit, like it's just, like, it's a good song. If you guys want to leave me any song suggestions, hit me up in the DMs. I'll happily listen to music. I'm always looking for new music. I've always got, I've got a sort of a, a weird style of music taste, I guess. I kind of go from, you know, listening to Travis Scott. I'll then go listening to sort of like the Bullet For My Valentine, Breaking Benjamin, Three Days Grace. I'll then listen to 21 Savage, 69, and even Michael Bublé occasionally, only on Christmas. One thing I want to say as well is I love the gym. Not the gym for going and working out. I actually hate that. That's probably the worst part. Who wants to go in, let's be honest, who wants to go into a gym and lift weights? Like, that's, and like, it hurts. <laughs> it's probably the last thing that anyone wants to do. I love the gym because of the people that I meet. Like, when I was there today, I had five people that I haven't seen in a long time come up to me and I had chats with them. But yeah, it was really good catching up with everyone. Like, there's people I used to go to high school with, there's someone that I work with who works at another store, then there's two other guys that own their own sub store. So, you know, the people that you meet are fantastic. And then I even met this bloke who is a videographer and he was showing me some of his stuff and, you know, it's just cool that, you know, like, is me, you know, just... It's, it's funny how a camera in a gym can bring up so many conversations like a lot of people are looking at me thinking I'm weird and yes it is weird to be filming myself in the gym but then you know I was next to this bloke and he comes up to me and he goes oh dude like are you vlogging and I said like you know I'm trying to and then next thing he was telling me how he's vlogged all through his prep and whatnot and then we started talking and he's a videographer and he showed me some of his work and his work was fantastic so it's just like that's the reason why I love the gym it's just the fact that Everyone that's there, you can meet people and everyone's got the same hobbies as you or similar hobbies and it's just like, that's why I love it. Like, I love everyone coming in, fitness is a passion, everyone's doing their own thing but like we're all there in the same place and we're all helping each other sort of thing. So, I love the gym, I don't know about you guys but like it just, it just made me feel good, like it just makes me feel good! I wish everyone could come to the gym but obviously gym's not for everyone but you just gotta know that the gym isn't just always about lifting weights, it's about coming in having fun with mates, you know, even if it's just sitting on the treadmill talking to your mates while you're walking, like, if you're in the gym, I'm there as well, we're friends, like, I want to be friends with every one of you that's in the gym, so, the more people that's in the gym, the better, the more people that's in the gym, the more people I get to talk to, <laughs> the longer that my workouts take, so, again, sorry Nick.